large, prickly, green, oblong. The jackfruit belongs to the Moracacea family and believed to have originated in the western coast of India, but it also grows in the tropical and subtropical areas such as the Caribbean, Central and Eastern Africa, many Pacific islands, Brazil, Puerto Rico, Australia, and even Florida. What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Edible Knowledge, giving you the what's what of food from around the world. And in case you were wondering, other members of the Moracacea family include the mulberry, fig, and the breadfruit. When you cut into a jackfruit, you'll see yellow bulbs that contain seeds and are connected to the core. The texture of the bulbs resemble chicken or pulled pork, and this has made jackfruit a very popular meat alternative for vegans and vegetarians. It can be used in such things like salads, curries, and with noodles when it's green, and when it's riper and sweeter, in desserts like ice cream and pudding. Did you know there are actually over 30 different varieties of jackfruit, and they all fall into one of two categories, firm and soft. These varieties include china, mankale red, orange crush, and gumless. It's said that a green, unripe jackfruit has very little flavor, which in turn makes it a great meat alternative when you're adding different flavors to it. And people have said when it's sweet and ripe, it resembles a flavor kind of like a pineapple or a mango. And even though many people throw away the seeds, they can be eaten. Roasted like pumpkin seeds is a common way to enjoy them, but just be forewarned. They can be eaten raw, but may pose a risk to people taking over the counter and prescription blood thinners. Like the tree, the fruit itself has very high amounts of latex. So either get someone else to cut your fresh jackfruit or just remember to wear gloves if you have a latex allergy. The jackfruit is actually the largest fruit grown on a tree. Some can weigh up to 100 pounds. It takes about five to seven years for a tree to start bearing fruit. But when it does, they can produce 150 to 200 fruits a year. And the lifespan for one of these trees is about 60 to 70 years. And just in case you didn't know, there's actually a bunch of ways other than fresh that you can buy jackfruit. You can get it shredded, canned, and you can even get jackfruit flour. In just one cup of jackfruit, that's 165 grams, you will find 155 calories, 3 grams of protein, 1.1 grams of fat, 3 grams of fiber, and 40 grams of carbs. But of course, that's not all. Jackfruit also contains vitamins A and C, riboflavin, magnesium, potassium, copper, manganese, calcium, and iron. Jackfruits also have anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, and antifungal properties. They may help in blood sugar control, boosting your immune system, helping in the health of your heart, improve your digestion, and may help in improving your skin. The jackfruit sounds pretty amazing. Are you gonna get some? Let me know in the comments below. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.